right, I'm back. And what I'm gonna do here today is I'm gonna reset the ABS trouble light on this 2003 Ford F-150 using Forescan software. If you own a Ford, Mercury, Lincoln, or Mazda vehicle, you can download uh, Forescan software uh, for free. And what Forescan does is it allows you to do uh, in-depth diagnostic testing and uh, even perform service procedures. And I've got the laptop hooked to the OBD2 port with one of these uh, ELM connectors. This is the VPeak OBD Check MS. You can use a number of these. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, and it's an adapter that goes into the laptop. It's got a USB 2.0 connector. Put that into the laptop. I've just turned the key to the on position. I, I plug this into my OBD2 port under the dash, just like that. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go online and download the free software, okay? You put it on a laptop, you'll have a little icon on your desktop that you open up to this page. Now we're gonna go down here, this little icon right here, it says connect to the vehicle. And you're gonna to connect to the vehicle, it says please make sure the following con initial conditions are met. The ignition key is in the on position. The HSMS CAN switch on the Elm 327, if available, is in the HS CAN position. So that's, we'll look here, see the HS CAN position is the up position. It could be in the down position. That would be, that would be MS CAN, so, HS can is up. 
All right, we'll plug that into the connector under the dash and the vehicle's not moving. Okay, we've confirmed all these things are okay. So click on okay. And now it's gonna show, it should show down here when we hover over it. So it's connected to the vehicle. Now it's gonna come up here, it's gonna say, and it says here, found recorded profile for the this or similar vehicles. Would you like to load the selected profile? And this is for a Ford F-150 4.2 liter, 2003 VIN number, whatever. Yes, that's this vehicle. So we're gonna to connect to that. And it's gonna load here. So this is basically a chronology of what's happened here today. So it checked for Wi-Fi, couldn't find any. Checking for comms, it found a connection and it went through an Elm 327 connector and it's connected to the vehicle. Okay, and it shows all the connections now. We have some trouble codes. We can see down in here, we're looking at ABS. We got a, a little uh, exclamation point next to there. Let's look up in here and go to diagnostic trouble codes, the DTC up here. All right, let's go over here, we'll click on that. All right, so we're, we're showing the, the codes that are showing up under what module, okay? So for instance, okay, we go under the this first one it says oil pressure switch fail. Okay, that's because the engine's uh, not turned on. Okay, so the doesn't mean the oil pressure has failed or the switch has failed. It just means that the engine's not running. Okay, if we were, the engine was running, that wouldn't show as a failure. Uh, going down here, powertrain control module onboard diagnostic system readiness test not complete. So it just means we haven't performed that test. Uh, the restraint control module, there's no codes. That's for your seat belts and your airbag system. That's uh, There's nothing uh, showing up in there. Now, GEM, uh, there's a code there. Ignition run accessory circuit failure. We're not going to worry about that. That's to do with, that's to do with uh, this key just being in the on position. What we're interested in is we're going to go down here. We're interested in the codes. ABS codes. See, there's three codes stored in here. So we're going to look at this C1155, and we'll see what that is. And it tells us the code C1155 is the left front wheel speed sensor input circuit failure. So that's part of the anti-lock braking system. The diagnostic trouble code details the left front wheel speed sensor input circuit failure. It may be caused by the sensor itself, a short circuit, an open circuit, uh, the sensor previously was disconnected or damaged or contaminated connector. The other thing is we're getting an ABS code. Uh, it's a C1158. It's the left front wheel speed sensor coherency fault. And it basically, it's all to do with that same one sensor and it's wiring. So there's a, there's a fault in the wiring. There's a fault in the sensor. It could be any of those things. The last one is code B1676, the battery voltage is out of range. And that's for the ABS. So what it's saying is that the, the circuitry going down through to that uh, wheel speed sensor is not coming back with the right voltage. So the sensor malfunction would be determined by a, di a differential voltage through the sensor. So it, it says it's not coming back uh, in range. So it, that's telling us that there's a problem with the sensor or the wiring, okay? Uh, I, I bought a, a new uh, wheel speed sensor for the left front wheel. We're going to change that and we're going to come back in here and see if it corrects the light on the dash. Okay, so here's the new wheel speed sensor. That's the part right there that the, the wheel spins past and it picks up the speed of the wheel. And there's the connector for the top. All right. So I've got the vehicle secured on axle stands. And so here's the old cable here. So let's get that changed. So here's the sensor here. There's an eight millimeter head right there. Okay, there's the bolt. And we'll give this a little wiggle. I think we're gonna have to pry it out of here. I'll get a screwdriver in behind here in a second. Oh, that thing's really in there. Probably has never been out of there. Doesn't look like it's gonna come out easily. So I got a little uh, PB blaster here. I'm gonna put some of that on there. Hey, I whacked it a bit with the hammer and a screwdriver. It freed it up, and out it came.
there it is. A little squeeze connection right here. Take that apart, comes out just like that. Yeah, that one looks like it's gonna be a little better. There's a new sensor. All secure and hooked up and plugged in. Let's see how that works. Okay, let's see if that light's gone out. There you go. The ABS light's gone. And we'll double check on the computer and we'll check the we'll check the diagnostic trouble codes on Forescan and we'll verify that and that should be the fix for this. Okay, then we're gonna go into the diagnostic trouble codes. Let's take a look in there. Now we notice successful diagnostic trouble code reading, no error codes found. See that? And that was the front left wheel speed sensor. We changed it. It cleared the code automatically. And that's how that's done. Okay, I hope this has helped someone. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.